In this video I'm going to show you how to draw this simple landscape illustration in vintage retro style. Before you start drawing, please download the color palette, the link is in the description. Please subscribe, leave a like and comment to help this video reach more people. If you all enjoyed this video and would like to draw more with me, please check out my Patreon, link is in the description. And now let's start. Let's create a new canvas, the A4 canvas from Procreate. Here is the color palette we are going to use. Let's take this first color here and drag it to the first layer, like this. Now let's create a new layer to draw the first mountain. Let's take the next color in line. Let's pick the brush, go to inking and pick studio pen. My brush size will be 58% and I can draw a simple wavy line like this. And now here going this way and color this inside like that. To make this mountain nicer we can add light to one side of it. To do that let's open the layers, create a new layer, tap on it and set it to clipping mask. This way whatever we draw here will be visible only on the area of the layer underneath it. Let's take the next color in line, this one here, and draw a shape on this side of the mountain. Make sure to close this shape, so now we can color it. Let's create a new layer for next mountain. Take the next color, this one here, and draw a line like that. Let's color this inside here, and again we are going to add some light to one side of this mountain. Let's make a new layer for this, set it to clipping mask, Take the next color in line and select this area of the mountain. Close the shape and color it inside. Maybe let's also add small light on this side of the mountain. Now let's make a new layer for next mountain. Take the next color, and here this mountain will be without the light. Let's draw a line like this, and color this inside. And now one more layer for one more mountain. Take the next color, and draw a line here. Let's color this. Now we are going to draw that cliff that the wolf will be standing on. Let's make a new layer for this. Take the next color in line. And on this side, let's draw a cliff like that. Let's color this inside. And now we can make one more layer to draw the foreground. Take the next color in line and draw a line somewhere here like this. Let's color the inside and now let's draw a sun. The sun should be behind the mountain, so let's go to the bottom layer, layer number one, and create a new layer above it. Let's take the color for the sun, this yellow one here, and let's draw a circle here. Hold your pencil on the screen and then put your finger on the screen to make this a perfect circle. Let's color this inside. And now we would like this whole illustration to be a little bit smaller. To do that let's open the layers and select all of those layers. Swipe them to the right like this. And now we can group this. Tap here to group. And if you want to keep this, just in case you want to change something maybe later, we can duplicate this. So let's swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. Now I'm going to hide this group so I don't see it. And this one I'm going to tap on it and pick flatten. Now this is just one layer. Let's use the arrow tool to make this smaller. 
Here at the bottom I have uniform option selected and snapping turn on. And I'm going to make it small like this and move it to the center of the canvas. Somewhere like that. Let's tap here to finish. And now maybe let's change the background so it's not white. It will be like off-white color. Tap here and pick this color here. And now we are going to change the shape of this illustration. We are going to cut it a little bit. To do that we can use the selection tool, set it to freehand and make sure your color fill option is turned off. Let's select it like that, go around it, stay close to the edge and here on top maybe we can make it rounded, like this. Let's close this shape, make sure you tap here on this first point and now we want to select what is outside of the selection, so we have to tap here, invert. Now the outside of it is selected. Let's go to the actions menu, go to add and pick cut. This is how it looks now. If we want we can fix the shape, I'm going to fix the top of it. So I'm going to take this color here and I will just draw on it like this. I will make it a little bit more even. And now I'm going to take this color here for the cliff and I'm going to make it go outside of the shape like that. This will make the illustration more interesting. And maybe I will also take this color here and draw a small line here going out. Now we are going to find the wolf and the tree for our illustration. If you want to use exactly the same pictures like I did, the link for them is in the description. My tree comes from this page, transparentpng.com, so you can look also here for different kind of tree, and then just tap on it and pick add to photos. And I found my wolf on this site, pixabay.com, just tap on it and pick add to photos. Now let's import them here, go to the actions menu and pick insert the photo, and then pick a picture. Let's make it bigger so it will fit our illustration. Something like this is okay. Let's tap here to finish. And now I want this to be the same color as this foreground here. To do that, let's open the layers, tap on this layer of the tree and pick select. Now at the bottom turn on color fill and the tree is this color now. Here, I don't like how this tree is cut off, we can fix it. Let's take the eraser. Let's set it to medium brush from airbrushing. And my brush size here is 2% and I'm just going to erase this part like this. I'm kind of trying to keep the shape of the tree. Okay. And now I'll take the brush. I'll also set it to medium brush from airbrushing. And with the brush size 1%. I'm going to draw some of the leaves back. Okay, this looks good now. And here you might have a situation like me. There is a small line between the tree and the ground we can just color on it. Now let's import the wolf. So go to the actions menu, insert the photo and pick your wolf picture. Let's make it smaller so it will fit the scene. And now let's color this with the right color, this one here. And you can either drag and drop the color on it or you can go to the layers, tap on it and pick select. Let's turn this off. And now on this layer we can draw some clouds. Let's go back to our studio pen brush. And with the brush size 34% we can draw simple clouds like this. Draw a line and hold your pencil and screen to make it straight line. And then draw wavy lines on top. 
Let's draw a few clouds like this. To make this illustration nicer, we can make this cloud go outside of the shape of the sky. Let's color this inside. And maybe one more cloud here. And the last cloud here, going outside of the sky. Let's maybe draw some birds. Take this last color here. And with the brush size 17%, we can draw simple bird shapes like that. One line here and one here. Let's draw a few of them. Maybe this one can go outside of the sky like that. And two more here. So now the illustration is finished. We can make it look more vintage by adding some paper texture to it. To do that, let's go to the Actions menu and pick Insert a File. These are my paper texture images. You can download them for free, link is in the description. And I'm going to pick here this one, number 17. And now it covers the whole canvas. And we have to change the blending mode of this. So tap here and you can pick whatever you like, whatever you think looks the best for your work. And I'm going to pick this one, Color Burn. I'm going to turn on the opacity a little bit, 78%. And now I think I would like to make this a little bit lighter. So I'm going to the adjustments, hue saturation brightness. And I'm going to change the brightness to 55%. And now actually I'm going just to turn up the opacity of this layer. I'm going to make it 86%. Let's see the difference. Okay, the illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to write a comment, leave a like and subscribe. And here's a special shout out to my Patreon big fans. Thank you so much for being there with me and supporting me there. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!